Hello, oh, I'm Anika Elliott. Well, a shortage of drivers is hampering efforts by the Furniture Bank to help resettle Syrian refugees in Toronto. Torontonians answered the call for donations late last year, but now it seems there are not enough drivers to deliver furniture to families or to pick up new donations. The Furniture Bank delivers more than 2.25 million kilograms of furniture each year, and demand is up 60% because of the number of Syrian refugees that have moved to the GTA. Not only do they need more furniture, but again, they need full-time drivers to help out. Joining us now to talk more about this is Dan Kershaw, Executive Director of Furniture Bank. Good to see you, Dan. Good to be seen. Thank you, Anika. So let us talk about Furniture Bank. Uh, uh Tell us exactly what it is, what you do. So Furniture Bank's mission is very simple. We're here to end furniture poverty here in the community and one day across the country. Uh, we have tens of thousands of people here who can just barely afford an apartment, just barely afford food, and many of them live without furniture. They live effectively in an empty apartment. Our charity has been around for 18 years, and our mission is very simple. We go to homes like yours and mine and remove that great furniture and then uh, work with agencies across the city and match it up with them. So usually every 72 hours, if we've picked it up from your home, it's in a new home uh, later, that, uh, later that week. Incredible, wow. And the need is, is so great as is, but now we've got this influx of, of the Syrian refugees who need to be resettled, uh, and this is where there's a bit of a problem. Yeah. So we, we've hit this milestone that we've heard in the press that 25,000 have arrived, but don't, they're only now just starting to get their uh, apartments. Uh, we're working with Lifeline Syria and a whole number of agencies across the community. So when those families actually get their apartment, that's when they need the furniture. So it's only now that we're starting to uh, need the work. Uh, so when people are calling us uh, to come and get that furniture, we're unfortunately having to delay and being able to get to them. But more importantly, the people who need that furniture are having to wait longer and longer time periods because we just don't have the, the staff to be able to go out and drive. We have the trucks, mm -hmm. so we need big-hearted drivers. Uh, one of the things that we do in addition to that charitable work is we run an employment program within the charity called Leg Up. And that's why we say big-hearted, because in addition to be movers, they're also going to be training marginalized youth on the skills on how to be productive in the community. And they will either be going to donors' homes or be helping rebuild homes every day uh, on those trucks. Yeah, this is a multi-prong. So many Absolutely. levels to this furniture uh, bank, uh, Dan. So how can people help? Like, what do they do if they say, listen, I've got a big heart, uh, I can help? So if you're a driver, uh, you can drive 22-foot trucks with a G-Class license with a clean record. That's the, the official stuff. And you can see helping people out every day and would like a full-time job and to change people's lives every day, go to furniturebank.org and look us up and give us a ring. But more importantly, if you've been holding off buying some furniture or moving or upsizing or downsizing and that furniture is wonderful and beautiful and you know it should go to a new home, Furniture Bank is a place to get that furniture. So again, go to our website, call us, we'll send out our professional teams to come and remove that furniture for you. Furniturebank.org. Yes, please. Yeah, and so it's the, the people don't have to pay to to get the furniture, but you Correct. people they pay you to remove it. So think of yeah. us as a junk company. Only we're very picky. We want the very best furniture the community has to offer, and the clients and the agencies that we work with they come to our showroom and select furniture, and that furniture is free. Uh, so they're building a home. When you have clients who have literally four walls and a floor. Everything in our showroom is to actually build a home like you and I have right this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a lot of work. It's a I lot know of people fun. don't really get the, the idea of the full scale, but again, it must feel good. When uh, as you well. see a little Syrian child who's come, I don't know their story, but seeing them jump on a, a couch that is their couch is, is wonderful. So we have lots of volunteer opportunities uh, to actually be on the showroom and help these families. So please learn about us. Indeed. All right. Uh, Dan Kershaw is the executive director of Furniture Bank. Thank you so much for the Thank work you that you do. Thanks us. for being here. Uh, it is now 235 minus 1.